if you're ready to get into the world of streaming VR, uh, you've come to the right place, assuming you don't already know how to do that. Uh, I'm going to cover how to stream VR using the Oculus Rift S or the Oculus Rift using OBS. Uh, that is just normal OBS or OBS Studio, I believe is what it's called now. I do not use the Streamlabs version. Uh, the setup would probably be very similar, uh, so if you want to try that out and let me know how that works in the comments, if it works for you or not, uh, great, uh, but I'm not going to be covering that. Also, this is going to assume that you already have OBS installed and have it set up to stream to whatever service that, that you want to stream to, whether that's YouTube or Twitch or whatever, uh, and that you can also already do that. So I'm not really going to go too much into the OBS settings, how to get that set up. Uh, this assumes that you have uh, an Oculus headset. Uh, the Rift, Rift S, you have the Oculus software installed and you have OBS installed and, and some working knowledge of that. So what you want to do is use your flat or your thumb on the right hand, which is your uh, to hit the flat Oculus button. It's the uh, button closest to your wrist. And that's going to, uh, you'll probably start off either in home or maybe your library, something like that. But what you want over here is virtual desktop. Uh, you'll probably want to set a few things up initially before you, because uh, obviously you won't have all this going. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is, uh, like I said, you want OBS installed. You're also going to want to set up your sound devices. So in this case, uh, I use, whenever I'm using VR, uh, for the most part, I have the Rift headset and the Rift microphone as my default. Uh, to change those, if you have it set up for something else, uh, on occasion I'll use my surround sound instead, uh, or maybe uh, maybe you don't like the speakers or headphones that come with your Rift or Rift S, and you want to use your own sound device, not a problem. Go up to settings, go up to audio, basically just put whatever you want to use here in this drop down, those will translate down to there. Um, you can mute them individually or change the volumes, adjust it however you need to do. Again, that's as in-depth as I'm going to go in OBS because uh, I'm going to assume you already kind of have it set up to stream. So uh, the big difference, though, between streaming with OBS and VR is OBS in general, especially if you're used to streaming games, what you'll do is you'll go in here and uh, you'll hit game capture normally, and then uh, you can capture most VR games like they'll pop up in their own window. The problem with that is most VR games, the window that pops up to let anyone else kind of see what you're seeing, uh, they don't show up in a nice letterbox or widescreen uh, 1920 by 1080 format or anything like that. Uh, it's usually either one eye uh, and maybe you have like a, a fish eye view like the edges are curved or maybe something uh, like the example I'll put here with Robo Recall where they have a high scores on taking up like a third of the screen or something like that. But you want to get as much real estate as possible when you're streaming. So in order to get that and also in order to be able to stream home or the oculus dash or oculus home which is what i'm in now because as you can see here even though i'm in the oculus home the actual program itself does not have a window uh, this oculus here is just the software it is not the actual home environment that i'm in now so otherwise you wouldn't even see this uh, to do that there's a diagnostic tool called oculus mirror and it's standard it comes with your oculus software it's free there's nothing extra to pay um, the default location for it is right up here. Your system may be set up a little bit differently. If you can't find this path or are having issues, just go down here, hit your start menu, start typing Oculus Mirror dot exe. There's no spaces or anything like that. Uh, it is yep, right here. What I would also suggest is when you do find this file, right click and create a shortcut. Uh, probably a shortcut either in your start menu or on your desktop, wherever it is that you keep this Oculus software, put that, uh, that's OBS, this Oculus software, uh, put that shortcut to Oculus Mirror right next to it. Reason why you want to use Oculus Mirror instead, uh, and I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because the actual Oculus uh, forums goes into great detail about what it is and what it does. Obviously, it's a diagnostic tool, but it gives you by default a, for the most part, 
19 by 20 area generally focused on the right eye now if you want to do left eye or you want to change that resolution that's when you're going to want to check that uh, link in the comments or I'm sorry the, the link in the description uh, to take you to that oculus page because there's all kinds of uh, different settings and things you can do with that however it requires using a bat file and though I've been able to do some stuff with those I'm just not good at them maybe you're better than me at it that's fine you want to play around with it but for me the default oculus mirror.exe works just fine uh, so what you do is you start up your oculus program you start off that uh, start up that oculus mirror and what that does is gives you sorry I know this is like really trippy uh, this window here is oculus mirror and this shows in that nice 16 by 9 format yeah it kind of stops it that helps um basically in its own window so rather than just grabbing whatever window the game brings up like uh, like i mentioned with robo recall and, and bringing that uh kind of doing that weird scoreboard thing or whatever the resolution the game designers think you want you're always going to see a 16 by 9 or a 19 20 by 1080 uh, widescreen and it's also always going to be uh, th the same for every single game that you play in VR and again you're gonna be able to see things you wouldn't normally be able to see like Yahoo's home so you're gonna go into OBS you're gonna set up a game capture uh, actually you're gonna go here <laughs> sorry you can set up a game capture uh, you can name it whatever you want it doesn't really matter and then uh, once you set that up, you're going to choose capture a specific window, just like you probably would with your games, except that window is always going to be Oculus Mirror. Exe. So no matter what happens, no matter what VR game you're playing, which is actually a little more convenient because whenever I stream just my games, I have to change that every single time. This way, you're only capturing Oculus Mirror. You've got your Oculus uh, audio things going and then again as long as OBS is already all you have to do is hit that start streaming button so uh, not again not too crazy it's not uh, out of the box necessarily in the sense that it's not just uh, click a button and get going uh, but really this is all you need and then once uh, you have this set up you can start with your overlays or, or anything like that uh, since you are capturing whatever the oculus sees this also works with uh, any oculus game obviously so anything in your library if you play anything in steam uh, steam vr automatically because again you're recording what you see in your headset and that's what you're always going to see in that oculus mirror.exe window which is what you're streaming out uh, so since you're getting into that world of streaming, uh, one other video, I, I, I don't normally like to, to be a shill for my own stuff, but I do have another video that is uh, for uh, streaming, uh, I'm sorry, adding your Twitch chat to your stream uh, because you can actually do that. Uh, the instructions are in the video, I'll also put that link uh, in, the, in the description. One thing, if you are going to do that though, is uh, you'll want to go ahead while you're in here, go to your settings. Go down to Dash, I lied, go to Experiences, and then make sure this is turned on, Virtual Desktop Panel Pullout. Uh, when I originally made that video, I don't know if this wasn't, uh, if this was just on by default, or maybe I always had it on. I don't remember actually turning it on, but this does have to be on in order to do the Twitch chat thing. So uh, again, once you get uh, started, uh, the Twitch chat's are very easy. You just have a window, you can move it wherever and all that good stuff. But anyway, this is how you stream using VR on Oculus Rift or Oculus Rift S. And uh, if you have any questions or uh, 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 anything like that, let me know in the comments and we'll see if we can get it figured out. Thank you.